Hey everyone, Lawrence from Studio Oak here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the question that comes up quite a bit in SEO is, how do I know if my website has been penalized by Google? In my experience, penalizations or manual actions are quite rare, and when they do happen, Google does indicate to you why it's happened uh, in Google Search Console. So we can dive into how that looks. So let's say I'm on studiooc.com.au and something doesn't feel right. Now my mind might skip to being, definitely, I've been penalized, I've got a manual action, everything's terrible. But the most important thing to do when you feel like your website is slipping in the rankings, take a breath. And then get into actions that actually make sense in trying to identify where that website is slipping. There could be numerous re reasons why your website is not performing well. Doing an audit, all the classic things we do in uh, SEO, auditing, going through your content, looking at your links, all those things are gonna be really important. But if you wanna direct, directly know if you've been manually action or penalized, this is the way to do it. So we're gonna dive into Google Search Console. If you don't have this installed, we have a great video on how to use Google Search Console as well on our channel. And we wanna go through and go to security and manual actions. Great, this is great because Google's giving us the guidelines and actually knowing, hey, if something's not wrong with my website, Google's gonna let us know exactly what's wrong. No issues detecting. So look, I'm sweet. But if, let's say I did have a manual action, it will look something like this. So in this example, it's giving us a <laughs> not so fun red flag and saying there's one issue detected. And there are pages that are being affected by a manual action that can reduce display features, result in lower rankings, and even removal from Google's search results. So it's very direct information telling us why that manual action's in place and why your website might be slipping in the rankings. And it's detected issues. Spammy structured markup. So in this scenario, perhaps the person working on the website has put in some structured markup or some schema markup that's not right, or maybe the intention was to manipulate Google's search engine a little bit. Definitely not the right thing, <laughs> not the right approach with SEO, but make sure that you're doing everything under Google's guidelines and you should be all sweet. But let's say this has happened, and I've seen this before in SEO as well. Someone's done something unintentionally that's resulted in a manual action, and all they need to do is just remove that thing that's causing that manual action and it's causing that uncomfortableness for Google and not adhering to guidelines, and then request a review. In a couple of weeks, that should be resolved. In this scenario, all that we need to do is find that structured markup that's causing that issue and remove it and then request that removal. And let's say we did have a manual action proposed against us. I'll reflect on that, try and understand what went wrong and then engage with an SEO specialist if I didn't have one on hand to actually go through and identify perhaps some of the issues and even some of the complex stuff that Google can flag a website for. It's very important to adhere to those guidelines. There is a lot of documentation out there of what Google likes and prefers in terms of what they evaluate websites for. So one of the best courses of action if you are new to SEO, you've seen this manual action, is engage with an SEO specialist, someone who really understands the intricacies of what Google's looking for and help you resolve that action for you. It's It can be done, and I've seen websites really recover and recover quite well from this quite quickly if it's actioned in the right way. So that's how you check if your website's penalized and also what to do next.